Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general upgrading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get. Here we go three cards the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation a call or a person boundaries still angry sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out bottom of the deck we have clock so time factor need time takes time in time cycles time to heal healing the inner child let's say progress so let's also pull from this oracle deck let's see what it can offer I am a little bit bothered by the uh, combination between the stalking uh, keyword and the not today uh, oracle card as a concept. It's kind of like someone can uh, bother some of you guys. Be assertive. Well, communicate clearly. This can be important. Improving health healing what we have mentioned a couple of moments ago let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies let's see the butterfly oracle card is kinda vibing as a hope coming from a person for something to happen with some of you guys but it doesn't seem to be reciprocal the the aspiration the desire and we are ready so current situation three of swords the challenge tower death card crowning energy core of the situation Ace of Cups, my goodness, this is an offer. Past energies, Six of Wands, future energies, possible outcome, the Moon, Focus, Hanged Man, there is an evaluation, but something is not how it seems. There can be an offer, guys. It was, it was um, a precise feeling, but King of Wands, bottom of the deck, the king is still sitting on the throne he is almost ready to take action the taking action can be about saying no guys this is a tricky situation it can be uncomfortable for some of you if the other person is pushy a pushy person trying to present again and again an offer of love but it is fair to say that what they can offer is not exactly what some of you are hoping for this is fair to say because it can happen after all in the everyday life be assertive crucial communicate clearly even more improving health makes sense if we consider the three of swords as a situation that is not in alignment with satisfaction it is true that the three of swords can be about heavy disappointments in the love arena but guys in this case it seems that there is a connection that is not the one that we have wished for the other person is constantly trying so 
the not today, not dealing, avoiding a conversation, a call or a person, boundaries, can be keywords that some of you are somehow, some way manifesting because the other person is not the one for you. This talking oracle card, guys, let's put it in perspective because this is still a general reading. So it can be about a suitor that doesn't uh, take a no as an answer, but if the answer is no, they will have to take it and respect the outcome. Otherwise, we have a bigger problem, you know? The tower, it's a done deal, basically. It's in the challenge, so maybe there can be there can be a talk kind of saying, look, uh, thank you, thank you. I can be flattered by your offer, but right now, maybe a love partnership is not a is not a priority for me, let's say. In a respectful way, we need to find a way to to change the landscape. Otherwise, we are stuck and the six of ones in the past is kind of like some of you have already gone through uh, challenging connections and you have no interest whatsoever in finding yourself one more time in the same situation maybe this person reminds uh reminds you someone from the past it can happen the moon guys the moon is about the unknown something that is yet to be discovered yet to be revealed but uh, when it comes to this connection there is something a little bit shady there is a facade a veil of illusion and confusion let's find out more Three of Swords, the Empress, so uh, no healthy growth within the connection with these suitor guys. And because um, the Empress is able to understand if a situation can be developed uh, in order to achieve the highest potential, some of you are called to uh, manifest your Empress power. You can be extremely open, you can be... Um, comfortable when it comes to the interactions with other people, all good, but you cannot settle for a situation that you know is not a source of satisfaction and fulfillment. And plus, if the other person has intentions that are not clear at the 100%, that's why the enlightenment coming from the hanged man can make the difference, because is about uh, looking at a situation from a different perspective. And the hanged man is an energy that cannot be rushed, so the clock oracle card kicks in. The tower, seven of swords, my goodness. No, no. The tower crumbles down when it comes to this connection because the intentions are not uh, in alignment with a positive positive chance to establish solid foundations for the connection. The other person can be a little bit obsessed, guys. Uh, it is fair to say that because stalking, gaslighting, they can try to charm you guys. And you may discover something that is about what they can do in order to gain points, some of you may not may not like what this person is willing to do in order to make you an offer. This can be an unfair behavior, something that is not uh, respectful, maybe even of someone else. Um, It's kind of talking behind the back of another person, for example, uh, in order to gain points um, with another individual.
This is a no go. Let's see the death card. Nine of Wands. The Wounded Warrior, yes, it can make a ton of sense if we follow the battlefield considerations uh, about the Six of Wands in the past. Um, it is more meaningful the wall. The wall is up, guys. The wall is up. Some of you, if you resonate, this is an interaction with an individual that you cannot trust or you do not trust basically uh, they have ways or they have behaviors that that can even become uncomfortable uh, for uh, someone around them so for some of you in this case knight of swords wanted to come out for the ace of cups this can be about someone that shows up unexpectedly and this can become something that is not uh, the best possible thing to do it is also about harsh words so we should be careful temperance this is about maturity guys but this should be a wise course of action in order to deal with the situation in the smoother possible way kind of avoiding whatever discussion because it is truly the best possible thing to do the other person can can twist words nine of cups what can be a wish for them is not a wish for you but this is something that is out in the sun, meaning it's clear. That's why we are avoiding this person. Their offer can make them happy, but it's not reciprocal for you guys. And it is fair to say that your Ace of Cups, the gift that you are willing to share, uh, in order to be fulfilling is not with this person so your fulfillment doesn't seem to be um, an option considering this connection we have a jumper for the six of wands and two more cards so a talkative a talkative spread this one we get the emperor no reverse guys uh, in these readings taking action taking action is um, the concept that we have mentioned um, speaking about the king of wands seven of wands resistance four of pentacles protection safe mode so guys um, it's pretty straightforward the six of wands the warrior coming back from the battle victorious if you have overcome challenging connections you have taken action about those situations but you have also learned quite a lot because the wounded warrior has gone through challenges and he has learned about himself and about the journey the seven of wands becomes the not today type of approach uh, when connections that are a reminder of the past show up and the four of pentacles is the protection mode kind of saying i will not open up because you remind me of someone that was a source of struggles in my journey the other person will have to take a step back guys so be assertive and communicate clearly powerful messages but it is a matter of health let's see the moon it can be about lies guys here we go queen of pentacles your openness going with the empress may have been misjudged by this suitor ten of cups this is about emotional fulfillment, fulfillment of art and soul. I do not feel that it is something that pertains to this connection. 
the other person may truly think that you are the one for them but uh, I am sorry to say that uh, the situation is not uh, is not seen in the same way Hierophant, bottom of the smaller deck if you want to build for the future when it comes to love partnerships you see Tower Seven of Swords in this connection and the Ten of Cups that you are looking for is influenced by something that is shady so the other person may have been drawn to you guys because you were shining bright let's say and sometimes it just happens they see some type of fulfillment uh, when it comes to the dream to be with you but they are dreaming they are dreaming the moon and the ten of cups considering the queen of pentacles that can be your type of energy the other person is dreaming but they need to wake up because you see uh, the connection in a completely different way tower seven of swords and you are closed off towards this chance the death card will serve as a revolution will work as a revolution the other person is hoping for the butterfly uh, oracle card they are hoping for the relationship the connection let's say uh, to evolve to the next phase i do not uh, i do not feel that this is going to happen they are dreaming they should wake up and they can wake up when you communicate in a clear way you take action but in order to say look uh, not happening not going to happen but always in a mature and uh, smooth and wise way guys uh, no altercations no discussions uh, no arguments otherwise the other person can make a fuss about anything about something like easily this is the point they can make a fuss easily some more cards for guidance guys considering these energies a change in the wind well it is crucial it goes with the death card in particular also the tower can be a revolution revolutionary change but this connection we need to uh, close it no place like home this is a beautiful card for me it is um, an energy that goes like um, the chance to be in a world of your own with a special person but it is not the case considering this connection the other person is dreaming for sure about something like the no place like home oracle card but it is not reciprocal you are not available basically if you are still here watching because you resonate somehow some way you are not available for a connection with this person they are shady they have intentions that are not clear they have ways or behaviors that are not trustworthy never-ending story can be about the fact that guys this person for whatever reason reminds you someone from the past and you can say my goodness it's happening one more time like uh, it's it has already happened uh, for example and instead you just want peace that's why we need to close uh, this situation I love also the truth be told bottom of the peace oracle card there is a mask the mask is about the seven of swords moon uh, type of energies be assertive communicate clearly truth be told we are done we are done and the other person will have to accept and embrace uh, what can be considered as a closing point for this interaction more than a connection i would say so guys uh play this in a wise way it's important 
So I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon.